uh, in this tutorial I want to show you uh, to how to connect the Raspberry Pi or other devices to AWS IoT uh, first of all in I, I should say that in this tutorial you will learn about how to uh, set up your device uh, how to install the required tools and libraries for the AWS IoT device like SDK and uh, install AWS IoT device SDK and uh, of course install and run the sample app which is uh, made by uh, AWS Amazon AWS and the view message from the sample app in the AWS IoT console the uh, first step is to set up your device uh, for set up your device the goal of this step is to collect what you will need to configure your device uh, so that it can start the operating system connect to the internet and allow you to interact with uh, it uh, at a common line interface uh, um, to complete this tutorial you need uh, the following uh, like an AWS account, uh, you have you have to uh, create uh, your account before this tutorial, and your account should be ready. Uh, the second is a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B or higher levels. Uh, for example, I am using a Raspberry Pi 4 Model B and uh, a Raspberry Pi OS on your Raspberry Raspberry Pi yeah, and the uh, OS or Raspbian. OS should be installed on your <coughs> Raspberry Pi and of course uh, you need a internet or Wi-Fi connection internet or Wi-Fi connection and uh, of course keyboard mouse monitor uh, and some uh, necessary cables and the power supplies uh, and everything which uh, your device needed uh, because your Raspberry Pi uh, physically don't uh, doesn't have any uh, cable, uh, monitor, man, mouse, and keyboard, as you know. And uh, uh, the second step is to uh, install the required tools and libraries for the AWS IoT Desk device CK. And uh, <coughs> I want to show you these steps uh, on the uh, Raspberry Pi by monitor. Uh, I will move to the Raspberry Pi. In this step, I want to show you how to um, install the required tools and libraries for the AWS IoT device SDK. Uh, before you install the AWS IoT device SDK and sample code, uh, make sure your system is up to date and uh, has the required tools and libraries to install the SDKs. Uh, first of all, update the operating system and install required libraries. Uh, you can um, choose this. Uh, comments and uh, for example copy them from here or here or here or here and then of course you have to choose uh, all of them and <clears throat> then paste them uh, in the console of your raspberry for example i want to uh, open the console and uh, now i can uh, just copy this one and then paste it here and i can uh, click on the run uh, enter or, or, and run the command and uh, it, it is going to check uh, with this command and uh, but i don't want to do that because i um, before that i just uh, check it and uh, but you should uh, do these steps <coughs> after this uh, you can uh, the second step is to install git uh, install git um, for this uh, step you can just uh, first of all you can check uh, your git version uh, based on uh, this command and uh, copy it here and then uh, paste it on the command line here by uh, first you, you should remove it because I don't have any uh, physical keyboard I just using the virtual keyboard of Raspberry Pi from accessories to keyboard um, yeah now I click here and I can like escape yes um, you can click uh, each of these comment comment and uh, then paste them here and run them then uh, for example if your version is not 
uh, suitable you can just update it with this comment and then check it with uh, git dash dash version and uh, now <coughs> we want to install AWS IoT device SDK uh, in this step um, you should check your Python version and uh, for example if the version displayed is Python 3.5 or greater you can skip to a sub 2 because uh, you can satisfy the version uh, but if it is not you have to update it with this comment uh, and then check it also <coughs> you should do this uh, this um, process for uh, your peep you have to check your peep and uh, if it is not satisfied you can uh, upgrade it with this comment and um, the further step uh, is the furthest and important step in this section is to install the current AWS IoT devices SDK for Python. Uh, install the AWS IoT devices SDK for Python and download the sample apps to your device. Uh, you can uh, just do it with this command. Uh, copy this and paste it on the command line and then press enter and run. Uh, or you can use this command, copy it and it is uh, going to uh, use from uh, github and it will uh, installed from github and uh, yes uh, to here and after that uh, we want to go uh, next step uh, in this step uh, you have to install and run the sample app sample app uh, means that the uh, sample application which is made by uh, Amazon AWS and um, because we are just uh, using this page we can uh, use the sample app which is made by AWS and uh, for this reason um, first of all you have to create a, a direction for your uh, for your directory and you can just uh, create it with this command uh, copy it uh, from here and then uh, paste it in the command line and it is going to uh, create for you because uh, you can see that I just uh, created uh, here uh, you can see it here and uh, it is a sample app it is a uh, directory which I created and I will tell you about uh, this uh, files, files uh, here and uh, uh, the first step is to create AWS IoT resources um, what's the meaning of resources uh, resources here it means that uh, the policies which you uh, have to which you have to create and of course the thing thing uh, I want to uh, show you what is the thing and policies for this reason we can uh, click on here <coughs> and open it in the new tab uh, for creating resource um, we have two steps First, create an AWS IoT policy. Uh, this, these are the steps for creating uh, AWS policy. I just uh, created, and I will show you <coughs> my policy. And the uh, second step is to creating uh, a thing object. For this reason, uh, for, for this uh, part, you can just uh, use these uh, steps to create the thing object. And um, uh, it's better to uh, just use when you are creating creating your object uh, and think uh, use the name which is just uh, selected by AWS because uh, you are using the sample app and the names should be same and of course for policy you uh, it's better to use this name for example uh, as uh, AWS created uh, and uh, before continuing uh, continue your um, your steps in uh, here you should create first a policy based on these steps it is not hard and you can just do it uh, easily it takes just about <coughs> total uh, the both uh, both steps it just uh, totally take about five minutes you know, from uh, five minutes or not more than five minutes just five minutes or maybe maybe because it is your first time it takes for example 10 minutes it, it is not hard you can just uh, do it with this um, in order uh, in order the uh, steps and uh, just create it and then uh, back to the, the um, back to the first page 
which we want to continue when you uh, you created your AWS IT resources then you are <coughs> you are good to uh, do the other steps uh, what is the other steps is uh, uh, here uh, to install and run the sample app for this reason you have to uh, just uh, open your again open your command line and uh, paste uh, this address here uh, copy it here and then paste it here and uh, then <coughs> you have to after uh, this uh, this directory is curated by this comment you can uh, just uh, copy this uh, comment and <coughs> and then uh, paste it there uh, but but uh, you know that um, what are the, i want to sh uh, tell you what are the, this uh, words for example uh, for, first of all uh, you will uh, see that the topic Topic is that uh, topic name which we I, I will uh, show you in the other steps, but uh, for uh, these items you have uh, this uh, you have a directory of dot pem file dot pem file and dot uh, pem dot crt and of course dot pem dot key are the files which you are downloading with uh, when your uh, policy is created. Uh, when uh, for example when your policy is create, created from uh, here. Uh, you can see that the it saves <coughs> when you are creating your policy then uh, in a page I will show you and uh, you should uh, download the certificate certificates uh, I, I think it, there are about uh, five certificates and uh, for example the certificates which I downloaded are uh, these and you can see that for example one of them is dot pem dot key uh, dot pem dot crt and uh, uh, tca3.pem and of course <coughs> amazon root ca1.pem and uh, this file uh, you have to download them and paste them paste them uh, in this directory and uh, then close your close that page uh, and uh, here you can uh, just uh, uh, copy this address uh, and then uh, paste it on the command line because before that you just created you you just downloaded the uh, downloaded the certificates and you put them uh, in the search and of course in the other sense you have to just download this file and then put them uh, in the sample files and in the search here put them here and then uh, you are good to go uh, no no you're not good to, good to go you're uh, good to uh, copy this comment and then uh, paste it in your command line then um, you will see that uh, topic and messages in the uh, based on the mqtt uh, test client uh, here and uh, based on this way you can see the messages <coughs> uh, for example i want to show you um, uh, these messages for me um, for example uh, i i will just first uh, click here to go to the directory paste and uh, run with the keyboard <coughs> yes now i'm in the in this directory then i'm good to use this command and uh, paste it here but before that i have to create uh, uh, from uh, aws management IOT code. I, I have to create a topic because uh, you know that with topic I can just see the messages from MQTT way. Uh, for this reason, you have to go uh, in uh, test section and click on MQTT test client. Yes, uh, now I can uh, just uh, create a topic by the name uh, which uh, is created by AWS IoT uh, sample. Uh, where is the keyboard? <coughs> yes, uh, topic, topic, where is underline? <coughs> Maybe I don't have any underline here with this keyboard. I can just mm, use 
use um, the yeah yeah this name I can just copy it from here and then paste it in the topic paste and uh, then just click on subscribe now you can see that no messages have been sent here but after uh, pay, after copy uh, this comment and then paste it in the command line and then run I can just see some messages let's see <coughs> oh yes uh, you can see that the host name was invalid yeah because uh, you should just uh, uh, your your files should be uh, directed but maybe I have to use this if it is not work I have to use another file let me check the keyboard and then yes I have to choose uh, another file from uh, here <coughs> oh, oh oh I got 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 the uh, got the uh, problem uh, the problem uh, what is the problem yes uh, the problem is about the endpoint endpoint I forgot to show you the uh, what is endpoint your IOT endpoint where you can find this uh, your endpoint uh, your endpoint is visible uh, from your IOT dashboard and uh, you can find it from settings click on setting and then uh, yeah your endpoint is here you can just copy and then uh, then uh, it's it's better to just uh, copy the uh, copy the this comment, paste it in the command line, and then just remove here this this part from uh, your end endpoint, your end, uh, IoT endpoint, and just uh, copy this one and paste it. Uh, where is keyboard? It's too hard to work uh, with virtual keyboard. Mm. Yeah, now I can just copy the endpoint <coughs> and paste it here. Now I can uh, use keyboard to press enter now you can see that uh, the messages are creating here then now uh, in this in the same time you can see the messages in the IOT uh, MQTT test and yeah let's let's see yeah you can see the uh, messages here from with the topic one uh, and uh, the first message hello world one to hello world ten and after that uh, you can see that so the disconnected message here in the command line